Right, another update on how the observatory builds going. Since the last time I vlogged about this, I've now got the, the rails up here and I just keep reinforcing them because I've tried lifting this roof up and it's pretty damn heavy. I've in fact had to sort of reinforce the inside of it a little bit with some metal rods because it's starting to bow in a little bit, but that might be a blessing in disguise because when the rain hits it it's going to kind of like channel down the middle and come off the front instead of going off the sides and then getting in inside the walls i mean i will once this is all on on the rails i'm not entirely sure i'm going to get this up on there yet i'm going to have to call in a favor um but once that's on there it's going to sit fairly flush with the walls and there will be a bit of a gap there where the weather can get in so i'll have to put some feather board that kind of overhangs it will just hopefully be fairly flush and slide across but seal that gap also i'm gonna have to try and think of some kind of mechanism to lock it down really tight so the roof doesn't blow off we had some really epic winds last night and in fact the the neighbor's trampoline which is like this one i actually got lifted i don't know if you can see it there The wind lifted it over this six foot fence and it kind of landed, took a light, outside light off the front of my house and landed on the driveway. Thankfully, I was at work, so my car wasn't parked there. Obviously, it would have gone through the windscreen, I think. You can still see it's windy now. I mean, look, I've got this towel pond, towel pooling, keep the rain, rain out. See how that's getting bad about, but it was like really, really windy last night. So when I put this roof on, it's got to be damn secure so it doesn't get blown off and land in my neighbour's greenhouse or something. And I've got a bit of rain ingress because I initially had this towel pooling covering the floor. So I made this hole in it so it could go over that pier. Um, I had a bit of felt over the top, but I'm going to have to get some gaffer tape or something to try and seal that up. Anyway, I think last time I vlogged about this I was talking about how I was like reinforcing the inside so yeah I've got these diagonals as mentioned I've added a few more and I've added some sort of corner bits there on the top just to help reinforce it and I'm going to put a few more uprights basically in but I think finally the rails are, are strong enough because I've braced it that way as well so they don't twist in and I've got these nice diag diagonal brackets. I've got a circular saw, so I just set it at 45 degrees, knocked out some uh, brackets. And then, because it's, it's quite a distance from there to there, I thought I'd add a bit more timber there. So that's actually, that's really strong now. I'm pretty confident it will take the weight of this. Now, confession with the roof, I don't know how I managed it, but I made it about eight inches too wide. I think I was initially planning on having quite a overhang and, and then have the wheels set in but I through the process of me making the roof from the pent roof of the original shed I just got I just didn't think about what I was doing at some point and just stuck the the wheels right on the edge so it ended up eight inches too wide so I've had to literally lob off eight inches all the way along reattach everything and reinforce it further with more metal bracket so i'm i'm confident that it's really really strong now I've gone and done the foundations properly this time i've gone 18 inches deep they took a lot of digging out there's a bit of felt that, that's flown off the roof i need to put that back on when it's less windy um but yeah i went 18 18 inches deep and i'll also put a little pond under here as well because I've got a goldfish that's rapidly outgrowing its second fish tank and I think it would look quite nice with a little little pond and a little waterfall oh. in it and then you can just basically to get in the observatory just kind of go in this way have the pond there in you go now I've got a mount for this I've got a explore scientific exos 2 pmc8 it's the new sort of wireless 
open go to software mount by explore scientific <laughs> so i'm pretty excited about that it's still it's sat in the box on the in in the dining room inside for well over a week now because i've been meaning to get around to doing sort of like an unboxing of that and the sort of setup video but yeah that's in the house once that's all done and checked out i'll be and i've got the roof on i'll be installing that but i need to give it a good lick of paint as well well, it's not important this year, but at least do something with this front door because that's looking pretty terrible at the moment. Anyway, I think we're good to go. I'm going to add a bit more, a bit more support on the inside, and then get that roof on. So that, that'll be the next thing to do. Anyway, that was a bit of a catch up. Hope everyone's well, and uh, see you in the next one.